Upon delivery, thoroughly inspect the free zone packaging to ensure that damage didn't occur during shipping. Don't discard the carton and packaging material until you've successfully installed and tested your freeze dryer. Verify that you have all of these components. The stop ring tray dryer, the user's manual, power cord, communication cable, three sample temperature sensors, eight quarter inch washers, four quarter inch nuts, and four quarter inch screws. For installation, you'll also need a flathead screwdriver or 5 16 socket driver and a 7 16 inch wrench or socket. Remove the four plastic hole plugs from the top of the freeze dryer on which the stop ring tray dryer is to be mounted. Ensure the flat gasket has been removed from the three inch port on the freeze dryer. Loosen both clamps on the lower rubber coupling and slide the coupling upward so the bottom edge of the coupling is above the lower edge of the stainless steel tube. Loosely tighten both clamps on the coupling to hold them in place. Remove all lids and if you have a mini chamber, rotate the mini chamber handle so it will not interfere with the placement of the stop ring tray dryer. Lift the stop ring tray dryer into place on your freeze dryer while centering the vacuum coupling over the vacuum connection port. Do not lift the stop ring tray dryer by the acrylic door. Align the four mounting holes in the stop ring tray dryer support stand with the four holes in the top of the freeze dryer. Install the four bolts, nuts, and washers provided. Loosen the clamps and slide the lower rubber coupling down over the vacuum connection port. Orient the clamps to gain access to the screw head and tighten the clamps. Make sure the stop ring tray dryer and free zone console power cords are unplugged before connecting the communication cable. Connect one end of the communication cable to the port on the back of the stop ring tray dryer, labeled output to freeze dryer. Connect the other end to the port on the back of the freeze dryer, labeled drying accessory. Plug the power cord into the receptacle on the back of the stop ring tray dryer, and plug the other end into a suitable power receptacle. Do not attempt to plug the stop ring tray dryer into the free zone freeze dryer. Installation of your stop ring tray dryer is now complete. To learn more about your free zone console stop ring tray dryer, visit labconco.com.